Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Nava computer. They'd have to. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge, I mean... Well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Our enemies gather while we wait here. This won't end well. Trust me. What is it? Why are we stopping? We've been diverted from Onderon to the Outer Rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard-pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the Outer Rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within 10 standard days, provided there's no mishaps. 
I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of his identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, he's got diplomatic level priority, whether he knows it or not. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There's no match for the vessel in our data banks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that he reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure he arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Nassi out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I am always being kept in the... D Query. You sent for me, Captain. Yes. I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything he needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. His safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. We have taken on passengers to Telos. Sir, we've just received an emergency broadcast. A freighter under attack by Sith forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low-stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Sir? I'll need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Report. The Sith warship is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it, and there's no sign of a crew or its commander. 
there's no one on board. What about the escape pods? They're still in their berths, sir. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty, too. We, we did a clean sweep and nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beamed to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort, but we'll find out. Everyone in the Ebon Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Then keep me posted. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from MedLab. Ah! I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. Send a security team to MedLab, now! <laughs>
Are you all right? This was your room? When? We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. What is it? Why are we stopping? Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that Sith firefight in the Regent, crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. Checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, and then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. This is the medical officer. The soldiers sent to the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew, with him or Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but... 
I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank was a Sith Lord. Alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. Time to even the odds.
I have a bad feeling about this. Don't you feel it? Something's gonna get real wrong real quick. All right, don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me, when it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. This battle is mine alone. I am not defenseless. He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run! I shall be along shortly. Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. I sense you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you, as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. 
No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. What's wrong? Are you all right? Damn it, hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? Huh? How do you know that? Look, if she's in pain, then that pain's buying us time we can't afford to waste. Especially if Sleeps with Vibroblades gets tired of playing with her and decides to use us for practice next. 